All right, so now that we're done with finishing out that side for the third layer, we're gonna be working on finishing out the rest of the cube. Um, to do that, we're gonna be using two algorithms. Um, the first one is gonna be dependent on us being able to find headlights. And headlights are gonna look like this. Uh, they're gonna be two corner pieces that are going to be on the same side and we don't really matter, it doesn't really matter what edge piece is in between them. This could be red, blue, green, orange, whatever. Um, but as long as we can find those two, we're good. So in this case, we actually cannot find um, headlights. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna just execute the algorithm anywhere um, and then make some headlights appear. And the algorithm goes like this. R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R two, U prime, R prime. And yeah, there we go. We actually have some headlights right in front of us. So when we do get the headlights, we're gonna try to make them, well, we're gonna make them point towards our left and then execute the algorithm again. And that's gonna look like this. R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R two, U prime, R prime. And there we go. So when we're done with it, the desired look we're uh, going for before we do our last algorithm is going to be something like this. It's gonna be one where either three edge pieces are not solved yet, or all four edge pieces are not solved yet. Um, this is the most common where three are not solved. And then we do the last algorithm. And the last algorithm is gonna be an intuitive one. Um, it kind of depends on what the situation is. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So we're gonna, the algorithm starts with us having two of the non-solved edge pieces in our left and right, and then one in our right in front of us. And then we're gonna do an F2. And then we're gonna do a U prime or a U. So in this case, we're gonna do a U prime because we're gonna to try to make this dot right here match with its center. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be F2, U prime, R prime, L, F2, R, L prime. And how we finish is based on, in this next step is gonna be based on how we started. So we started with a U prime. So this is actually gonna be a U prime. So U prime, F2. And we are done solving the cube. So that, that was one of the cases on how it can look. It could also look like this where all four of the edge pieces are not solved. Um, and for that, we can just execute the same algorithm again um, and just make it's, it's the same thing. Is it in, It's intuitive, so you're going to have to look at the dot and know where it goes. So in this case, we're going to do an F2, bring that dot piece here. So this time we're going to be doing a U instead of a U prime. R prime, L, F2, R, L, oh, I'm sorry, L prime, and U, F2. So notice we finished with a U because we started with a U. And in that case, we've solved this side. We still have to work on the other three edge pieces. And we can do that quickly with a F2. Pick, is it going to be your U or U prime? It's going to be a U prime. So U prime. R prime, L, F2, R, L prime, U prime, F2. And we're done with the cube. And so I'm gonna give you another example where the you could actually do that F2 and then do a U, but neither side are actually the same color as this orange. So if you see, if I do this F2, I couldn't really get 
um, that orange. So in this case, you're just going to pick one and just um, do it. And then after you do it, you're going to get um, the desired look like we did in the other two cases. So let's do that. So one, two, one. So I just picked a random one. Um, so I'm going to do the case again. Done. So I did the algorithm. Um, I didn't pick if I was going to do a U or a U prime. I just did either one and then stuck with that throughout the algorithm. And now I have a desired case where one side is solved and I really only have to worry about these three edges. And so I would do the algorithm one more time, which is F2. And in this case, this blue has to go here. There. R prime, L, F2, R, L prime, U prime, F2. We ended with a U prime and we, uh, we started with a U prime and we ended with a U prime. So yeah, that's the steps to solving that third layer. Third layer is, like I said before, it's gonna be one of the hardest parts of the cube to solve just because it's more algorithm based, um, just memorizing. But so far we've used two algorithms just now. Um, one algorithm is to get the whole yellow side and then two algorithms or just one actually to get that L and the dot and the line to across. So really it was only three, four algorithms um, that was needed to get that th third layer. But that's how we solve the Rubik's Cube.